have a huge opportunity if we could leverage our production company to create that content that consumers want to read, that the consumers want to hear, but not only consumers, we felt that we had a moral and ethical obligation to also share that information with the automotive community. Because we figured if it was happening to us, it might be happening to a whole lot of other people. Also, we had to take advantage of all the technologies and all the promotions that Ripcase had to offer. You know, we needed to make sure that our customers knew on the digital space everything we had to offer. And lastly, and most importantly, we needed to make sure we leveraged those 400 rating fans that we had working for Ripcase on. But we did have some threats. We had a ton of negative content on the social sites. I mean, we didn't have positive content. We had, small is a nice word, we had no digital signature. We had a dated product, as Honda said, you know, our court wasn't knocking the doors out of anybody and our Civic didn't do what we had hoped and the CRV, we got it, but it wasn't really selling because it was a little thing called a tsunami that prevented inventory from happening. And on top of that, right next door, we had this brand new Hyundai facility that happened to be a rib case also, that had the same competitive advantages that we had. They had brand new product with double the warranty, and everybody, and, and the buzz was all about this great looking car. So we knew we had to do something fast. And then to top it off, they started to break around on a brand new Volkswagen facility next door. So talk about a little bit of pressure. I mean, I'm 40, you see them right here? I mean, it was coming fast. So we knew that when we developed a strategy, it needed to be good for the customer and good for a case. You know, the best deals are the ones that are, the ones that are win wins we wanted to make sure that there were no gimmicks. It had to be authentic. If we were going to offer to give away a car, we were going to give away a car. Whatever we were going to do, we were going to make sure that it was real, that it was authentic, and that we could stand behind it with the 50 years of the Rick Case name. <clears throat> we, had to, we had to make sure that we generated productive local interaction. We wanted our customers to start to communicate with us at an intimate level. We didn't want it to just be, hey, do you want to buy a car? We want to sell a car. Well, you know, what's your best price? If you could do it. I mean, we wanted to stay away from that. We wanted to create relevant content that the consumers wanted to engage with where we could start to build our social community. And it had to be a system that wasn't dependent on the talent of one single person. I heard a lot about having, like, you know, I don't know, champions in the dealership. You know, I believe that, in my, my humble opinion is, if you're going to have a champion, it better be all 401 of your employees. Everybody has to be your champion. And it has to start at the top. And I thought that if we could get everybody involved and everybody as jacked up as I was starting to get about social media, I knew we could start to do some pretty exciting things. But we had to make a system that was sustainable. Not something that would be one and done, that we start to do it and then it starts to fade away, like everything else. We were talking to, uh, we were talking, I was talking to Paul last night, and he was saying, yeah, my GM didn't want to buy everything. You know, if it's $500 or less, they'll sign up right away. They'll use it for a month, and then it's all done. Well, we wanted to make sure that whatever process we put in place were going to be for the long run. And it had to be consistent with the culture at Rick Case Honda that we had, that we had started. We had created an integrated marketing approach, and we were not willing to sacrifice that on the digital space. So we started with our dealership. We had a lot to talk about. We had a great facility, and we wanted everybody to know what we had to offer. You know, the, the car wash was big. You know, the gas station, if you wanted to get married. You know, we had all these different things that we could promote on a social level. We wanted to make sure everybody knew. Then we went to our employees. We had over 400 of them, and we wanted to make sure that they, that they were part of our social media, that they were raving fans for our store, and they believed in what we were doing. And that starts with educating. You can't just get that done. You kind of have to explain it to them. You have to earn the right for us as a dealer to go into their social circles. Because it's one thing for someone to be an employee, but it's another thing to be part of the social media family. We had to leverage our customers. We had plenty of them, and we had to start to reach out to them. We needed to make sure that we told, that we told every customer what was going on on our campus every day to try to give them a reason to come and visit our store. And lastly, we encourage everybody, our friends, our customers, everybody, to talk to all their friends and family to kind of reach out and let everybody know what we're here for and what we were trying to do. 